Just like with a binary search tree, the order in which we insert the elements into a KD tree dictate its balance. And just like with any other binary search tree that we would want to deal with, or many other tree structures, a more balanced tree would yield faster run times for finding, removing, or inserting elements. So how does insertion order actually influence the balance? Well, let's say these are some points that I want to insert into a KD tree. Here, I've arbitrarily ordered them in increasing order of X coordinate. And let's see what would happen if I just happen to insert them in this order. So first, I insert 2 comma 3. My tree is empty, so this just becomes the root, 2 comma 3. Then the next point, so 2 comma 3 is done. Now 4 comma 7, so first I have to look at x coordinates. So for 4 comma 7, 4 is greater than 2, so it would be to the right. There's no right child, so this becomes the right child. 4, 7. Now for the next point, 5 comma 4. I start at the root. 5 is greater than 2, so I go right. 4 is less than 7. Remember, I compare y coordinate on this level. So 4 is less than 7. So then this should be the left child of 4 comma 7. So 5 comma 4 gets inserted here. 7 comma 2. I compare x coordinate. Oh, and again, this is an x coordinate, so look at that. So 7 comma 2, I compare x coordinate. 7 is greater than 2, I go right. 2 is less than 7, I go left. 7 is greater than 5, I go right. This becomes the right child of this node, 7 comma 2. 8 comma 1, yeah, so here I would compare y coordinate. 8 comma 1, I start at the root. 8 is greater than 2, go right. 1 is less than 7, go left. 8 is greater than 5, go right. 1 is less than 2, go left. 8 comma 1. So this one's done. And now the last one, 9 comma 6. 9 is greater than 2, go right. 6 is less than 7, go left. 9 is greater than 5, go right. 6 is less than 2, go left. 9 is greater than 8, go right. And insert. <clears throat> Uh-oh. This is a perfectly unbalanced tree. So I've inserted these elements, but I've gotten a perfectly unbalanced tree, which is terrible for performance. So can I do something more clever in terms of order of inserting these exact elements to get a more balanced tree? Let's take a step back and think about this. I want to hopefully find an insertion order that gives me a perfectly balanced tree. So in this scenario, given a perfectly balanced tree, what do we know about this? Well, I have some root, and then in the left subtree, I have half of the remaining elements, and I also have half of the remaining elements in the right subtree. So let's say I had n elements total, one element is the root, and then out of the remaining n minus one over two elements, they should exist in the left subtree, and the other n minus one over two elements should exist in the right subtree. And then recursively, I would keep doing this. I would have a root of this subtree, and out of the elements in this nodes in this subtrees, left and right subtrees, roughly the remaining n minus 1 over 2 of them would be in that node's left subtree, and corresponding, the rest of them would be in the right subtree. So can I use this mentality to come up with a better insertion order? Well, remember that in a KD tree, the first layer is only looking at x coordinates. So if I want half of the elements to be in the left subtree and half of them to be in the right subtree, one thing I could do is just sort them with res so sort all of my elements with respect to the x coordinate and then pick the median x coordinate. So here they're sorted in increasing order of x, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Let me cut them in half. And I have basically two options. I'll core uh, so if I had an odd number of elements, I would just pick the middle element. I don't have an odd number, I have an even number. Let me just 
pick the one immediately to the right of the splitting point. So this one is going to be my root. So my root will be 7, 2. That was just the middle element. And I happen to break ties. I have two middle elements. I just went with the right one. That's my root, 7, 2. OK. So in the next dimension, out of the remaining elements, I want these ones to be in my left subtree, which they will be. And I want these ones to be in my right subtree, which they will be. So out of these ones, which one should I insert? So I have these nodes left in my left subtree. What should I insert first? Well, in my left subtree, I want whatever is going to be the root of this subtree to have half the remaining elements on its left side, half them on its right side. So let me reorder these with respect to the y-coordinate. So the y-coordinates are 3, 4, and 7. So let me reorder them. 2, comma, 3. 5, comma, 4. And 4, comma, 7. So I took the left half points, sorted them by y-coordinate, and take the middle one. And that'll be the next one that I insert. So I'm going to insert 5, comma, 4 which it's less than 7 by design, so it gets placed here. 5 is less than 7. OK, so now in the next layer, I'm going to be looking at x coordinates. So out of the remaining item, so actually, so this is the remaining item on the left side. So I can just insert it. 2 is less than 7. 3 is less than 4. It goes on the left. So let me just keep track of what I've already done. I've inserted that one. I've inserted that one, inserted that one. And then I'll also insert this one, 4, 7, because now it's a single element. I don't have to worry about order. Uh, 4 is less than 7, so it goes left. 7 is greater than 4, so it goes right. This one's done too, so that one's done. OK, so that now completes the left subtree of my root. Now let me do the right subtree of my root. So on the right subtree, I have these two elements. Again, I can just sort them in increasing order of y-coordinate. It seems like they already are. That's nice. So then I would pick the middle one. Well, there is no middle. So I've been picking the right of the middle arbitrarily. Let me pick this one. So 9, 6. And then I'll insert 8, 1. 8 is greater than 7, 1 is less than 6. Oops, let me be consistent with my colors. 8, 1. So these two are done as well. And now with the exact same elements, I get a perfectly balanced tree. So what did I do? I sort all of my elements by the current dimension. So increasing order of the current dimension, where I start with x, then I pick the median element to insert next. So I sorted them by x-coordinate. I picked the median, inserted it. Then I recurse on left and on right remaining points. But I switch the dimension. So with two dimensional points, I started at the root and I sorted with respect to x coordinate. Then I recursed on this side and sorted with respect to y coordinate, recursed on this side, sorted with respect to y coordinate. Then if I recursed again, I would sort based on x coordinate, x coordinate, same here, y coordinate, uh, x coordinate when I recursed on each of these. In general, with a k dimensional tree, I would start with the first dimension. Then when I recursively call the same exact algorithm on the left and the right halves, I would go to the k plus 1th dimension. So with three-dimensional data, 
I would start with the x coordinate. Then when I recurse, I would recurse on the left subtree and the right subtree, both using the y coordinate. And then in those recursive calls, I would recurse on each of their left and right subtrees using the z coordinate. And then the next recursion would be using the x coordinate, then the y coordinate, then the z coordinate, so on and so forth. So for any arbitrary k-dimensional data, basically whatever coordinate I'm looking at now, I will recurse using the next coordinate, and then I would wrap around if there are no more dimensions left.